Mm. That's good. I know you've noticed a couple changes around the warehouse. Jesus Christ. I know you noticed from the 37,000 messages I've gotten in the complaint box. What company has a plant meeting every day? Changes shit every day. Which by the way, side note, the complaint box, you know, it's traditionally been a shoe box with you drop paper in with your complaints. That's going to change to digital. We're gonna have an iPad right outside the office and you just, it's completely anonymous still. These motherfuckers think we're stupid. We'll talk more about that later, but it's, you just go in, put in your employee number, boop, 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 you access the system and file your complaint, hit send, and it's anonymous. So it's just, it'll send it right to our email so we don't have to sit and read through all the papers. It's completely anonymous. Everybody, it's anonymous, but you gotta put your employee number in before you can make the anonymous complaint. Don't forget that, okay? Don't forget your employee number, log into the system, and then anonymously say what you don't like about management. We'll talk about that later. What we wanna talk about today is the soda machines, the Coke, Pepsi, gone. We're starting a new company-wide wellness program. No more soft drinks at work. Water, flavored water, colored water, clear water, spring water, filtered water, distilled water, even tap water. All that's fine with the Cokes, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Jerry, Dr. Pepper. Sorry, no more. It's not allowed on company property anymore. Promoting health and wellness with all our employees. You're drinking a Coke right now. I'm in management. So <laughs> I actually have a refrigerator in my office and I can put whatever I want to in that refrigerator. This doesn't apply to management. So good try. How are you gonna drink Coke and make us drink water? Well, if you wanna try to strap a refrigerator onto the back of your forklift, you can do that. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know. Where's your office? Do you have a fridge in your office? I'm so, I'm so sick of your questions every time we have a meeting. You got something to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I speak up every time my eardrums get packed full of bullshit. It's, it gets uncomfortable and I, I'm sorry. I speak up. If you want to strap a fucking refrigerator on the back of your forklift, more power to you. When I go to get a Maytag and ratchet strap that summit to the back of the forklift, I don't hear anybody say shit when it overheats because he told me I could do it. Fucking. Anyways, why ain't you got to do it? I'm management i'm not a peon like you you all you need to worry about is that up down left right tilt tilt that's it <laughs> how hard is your job but why ain't you got to do it why is every i've been on a fucking diet all right i know what the fuck i look like Looked a lot better than your stupid, ugly ass. Bro, you're the exact same size as me. Same height, same weight. Kind of look, we're, we're, based, we're the same person, bro. We're not the same. You'll never, ever be me. You'll never be me. <laughs> How big of a boat you got? Oh, oh that's okay. How much horsepower has your power stroke got? <laughs> How big are your wife's fake tits? Huh? How big are they? C? D? Double D? What the, what are we working with? This motherfucker trying to get his ass beat today. How was your weekend in Cozumel last weekend for Father's Day? Was it good? Yeah. Okay, we're not the same. Shut the fuck up. Keep talking. Keep talking shit. I'm seriously, you're, we're one meeting away from your ass just getting the fuck out of here. I, I'm so sick of you in the me. Everybody else shuts the fuck up and listens and lets me do what I gotta do. And you always, every time, got some shit to say. And let me tell you something right now. Until the day you fire me and I sue the shit out of this motherfucking company, I'm gonna keep speaking up. I promise you that. I pray, I, literally, I have dreams about you firing me. I wish you would fire me so I could sue the shit out and never work again. This is the last job I'll work. And when you fire me, all is right in the world. So I'm gonna keep speaking up, okay? Just don't forget that. 
I'm trying to address everyone and let them know the company now cares a lot about your health and well-being. So we're making you drink water. I'm sorry. Keep running your fucking cocksucker. I'm going to keep speaking up. Excuse me for not wanting you guys to die on the job and it costing us millions of fucking dollars to deal with that for your families. I don't want to deal with that. You don't want to deal with that. Stay alive. Drink water. End of story. Do y'all give any shits about employee morale, happiness, us wanting to come to work? Do y'all, does that, does that, no one gives a shit about that? So you got lots of drink and you drink those drinks every day. Huh. Hey, Terry, I tell you what, man. <laughs> name a drink name a soft drink better than coca cola you remember the other day when you uh your, your truck was running hot out in the parking lot i gave you that jug of antifreeze and you said it only held half you remember that you still got that half jug of antifreeze tell you what's gonna be better around here water i think my truck needs some now after this meeting i'm gonna run out there and grab it okay okay i appreciate it that way you won't all be obese fat fucks like Fat Chris Pratt over there. Oh, fat Chris, oh, that's a good one. Like John Goodman before puberty. Huh? You guys are gonna love it. All right, Terry, let's go get that. Let's go out in the parking lot. All right, thank you boss. Good meeting, I appreciate it. Let's, I can't wait till tomorrow to do it again. <laughs> let's go Terry.